Hello, you forgot your password and now you cannot use your Windows 10. Reset Windows to factory settings, using a method that completely deletes all data from Drive C, and you will get a new Windows, as if you bought a new computer. Along the way, you create a new Microsoft account and a new password, and activation occurs automatically. If the necessary data remains on the C drive, then before the process you must remove the hard drive from your computer or laptop, connect the drive to another computer, and save the necessary data to a USB flash drive or elsewhere. Perhaps all the files you need are stored on another partition or on another hard drive connected to the computer, then you can reset Windows to factory settings, and not worry about your data on the D drive, and E drive, they will all remain completely unchanged. And so, let's get started. Press the shift key, hold it down and at the same time restart your computer. Click, troubleshoot. Later. Reset this PC. Here you can choose keep my files, and don't delete your files, but then you need the old password and you forgot it. So we press, remove everything, the computer restarts and we continue the process. Click, local reinstall. Be careful, the computer can delete all files on all drives. I only delete files from the C drive, and click, only the drive where Windows is installed. We select complete deletion, and click, fully clean the drive. On this page, the system warns that further changes cannot be reversed. We click, reset, and began to reset Windows to factory settings. This process will take quite a long time, the computer will restart several times, and if you are resetting on a laptop, plug it into a power source. During this time, you can relax and have a cup of tea or coffee. Do not turn off your computer. Please wait. Select your region. Keyboard layout. I don't need an additional keyboard. We wait. We accept the license agreement. I will be using Windows for homework. Next. Here you need to enter your Microsoft account information to get a new password. I create a new account, and click, create account. I want to get a new email address, and I click get a new email address. I am writing a new address. Next. Now you need to create a new password. Please remember it, but better save it in a safe place. Next. Here you need to indicate your country. Then your date of birth. Next. On this page, for the safety of your account, you need to provide your phone number, and this will help you recover your forgotten password if you forget it again. Next. To verify my identity, a special code will be sent to my phone, which I use to verify my phone number. Here you need to select your country again and enter your phone number. I click send code, and when you receive an SMS with a code, enter it in the bottom line. I enter my code. Next. Now you need to create a PIN code to log in. I write the PIN. Then repeat it. Click OK. And now the last step of the process is left. Here I turn off all the settings. You do it as you need it. Accept. 
I will get acquainted with this proposal later. Next. No thanks. And I will read about this later. Accept. Let's wait a little longer. And now I have a new Windows 10, like I bought a new computer. Now I need to check drive D, and drive E, and see if all my old data is preserved. I open the explorer, this computer, and now we see that resetting windows to factory settings was successful, all data on other disks was saved, and I received a new Windows 10, a new Microsoft account, and a new password. Thank you very much for your attention to my video. Good luck!